Alright, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new here. Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing, setup, and review of the Heiger 8 Gallon Aquarium. Now I'm not going to spoil it with pictures of what the tank looks like at the moment, because we have a giant box behind us that we need to get to unboxing. So this big box right here is the Heiger 8 Gallon Aquarium. It's a pretty unique design, there's some cool features like a built-in background that's 3D. Uh, so that'll be fun to check out. But a few days ago, someone from Heiger reached out to me asking if I would uh, check out their tank and review it for a video. And that's exactly what we're doing today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this tank on up. This box actually came in another box. I just thought I would spare you guys from having to watch me open a whole bunch of boxes. Oh, I was literally wrong. There's, there's another box. Well, I guess here's the actual box. Uh, it also is, I guess, a good sign that it is packaged super well because this is a glass aquarium and we don't want it to arrive broken. Now obviously moving into the actual aquarium, as you can see, this is what the tank is going to look like. Here is a list of some features, uh, mentioning specifically the 3D background as well as the built-in filtration system, which believe it or not, isn't actually built in. It's an easily removable internal aquarium filter, but we're gonna get into that very soon. Without further ado, I'm just gonna cut open this box and we're gonna see exactly what's included. Removing this packaging right off the top leads us straight to the aquarium, neatly packaged here. No broken glass, everything is looking well and intact. We'll get that out of the box. But now that the aquarium is removed from the box, we can see it a little bit better. There is that built-in 3D background, and we also have a couple accessories still inside the tank, so let's grab those out first. So in addition to obviously receiving the glass aquarium, we have the owner's manual, the Heiger LED light to go over the top of the aquarium, as well as this Heiger internal filter to obviously keep the water running and clean. You do not get a lid and you do not get a heater with this aquarium, just as a heads up. Now checking out the aquarium itself, as you can see, this built-in background is super, super cool. There's a convenient spot to place a filter and maybe a heater if your heater is small enough. Now this background is not removable just as a heads up, however I don't see why you would need to remove it. There is a pretty big gap underneath the actual background so you definitely have plenty of room to put substrate and small plants. The glass on this tank looks really really nice, it's crystal clear. There is a cushioned little mat built into the bottom of the aquarium to help protect the surface the aquarium is sitting on and the black silicone makes the aquarium look really really nice. Moving right along to the internal filter, we'll just pull it on out of the box. And in the box we obviously have the instructions this little plastic piece with a note on it that says it's meant to be inserted into the back of the filter to prevent small fish from being sucked in. You obviously get the filter itself as well as these little spray bar attachments. As you can see, the spray bar attachment simply snaps together like this and that will allow us to create a nice little waterfall flowing over that background, which we'll see later. If we pull on the top of the filter, here comes out the little cartridge, and in this cartridge is just some sponge on the front and the back, as well as some activated carbon in the bottom. Once you use that plastic sheet to block off the back filter intake, this right here is the remaining intake for the water to flow in. So keep in mind, if you do have small fish, this filter will suck them up. So I wouldn't recommend keeping any baby guppies or any small fish like that that could risk being sucked into the filter grates. Moving on into the light, this is a full spectrum light, meaning it's made to grow plants. It has a built-in timer and a couple other cool features. So pulling this guy right out of the box and obviously removing the plastic, here is the light itself. It's super thin. As you can see, there's all the LEDs. It comes with these built-in little mounting brackets which will help it sit on the rimless design of the aquarium and then right here in the cord is that built-in timer as you can see we can adjust the brightness of the light as well as turn it on and off from here and obviously adjust that timer and then of course in here is a little power brick that will allow us to connect this to the wall so now that we have all the accessories in the tank unboxed it's time to pick a location and start setting up this aquarium day two moving right along over to the aquarium i have it set up on this little countertop and i brought some aquascaping material for us to finish getting this tank all set up. And without further ado, it's time to start setting up this aquarium. So the first thing I'm gonna add is some black gravel. It's a great neutral, and I think it's gonna look great in this aquarium. There is some gravel that landed on the background, as you can see back here, but that's no big deal at all. I also went ahead and got a few plants. So this one right here is a little crypt, um, a little small, should be pretty easy to keep plant right here. I'm just gonna pull this guy out of the rock wool. Like so right here, we have to be gentle, don't wanna break these roots. And I'm just gonna take this little plant and just pick a spot and bury it. Next up right here, I have this little leaf of java fern, which I'm actually gonna try to put right here on the shelf. Now this one is really gonna be a learning experience because I don't know how bright this light is. It is pretty bright, so I don't know if it could possibly burn these plants. So that one is a little close to the light, but that's just an experiment plant to kind of see what happens. 
This next one is just an Anubius, which is a little bit darker, so it's harder for you to see. But same idea here, we're just gonna plant this guy also in the substrate. I also grabbed a few more plants, including some Java fern right here, as well as some Java moss that's tucked back on this 3D background, and hopefully it will attach and grow off of it. Next up, for the time being, I just have a few small stones we're gonna place around the aquarium. This is definitely not the completed hardscape. There's definitely gonna be more coming down the road. This is just kind of a temporary quick setup of the tank. But we're really not gonna do anything too crazy with these rocks right now literally just placing them around the tank as I mentioned and then we can get some water in here one eternity later so now that the tank is all set up we have the plants in we have some hardscape in it's time to get some water in so I'm gonna throw you guys over to a time lapse and we'll start filling this tank up and here we are back where we started now the tank is all filled up it's been running for a few days. I wanted to give it enough time to get the water to be crystal clear and let some of those initial air bubbles dissipate. And here we are with the final setup aquarium, minus fish, of course. As you can see, I think it turned out really good. The design is very simplistic, although I think it came together really, really nice. A couple live plants, some black gravel. It really doesn't take too much. And overall, I'm very, very happy with how this tank turned out. Now we will be waiting a little bit for fish. Obviously aquariums need time to cycle, so we will not be getting fish in this video. However, that will be coming up here very, very soon once the aquarium has kind of run through its courses with those live plants. Now to conclude this video, right before we end it off, I do wanna go ahead and do a quick pros and cons list about this tank, as well as talk to you about how you can get one for yourself. Now overall, I was really impressed with this aquarium. I love the overall design of it. I think it looks awesome. I love the little curved front. It really adds, you know, a little characteristic that a normal, you know, rectangle tank just doesn't have. So I really appreciated that as well as the built-in background. I think the built-in background really is what sets this tank apart. And overall, I was just really, really happy with the aesthetics of this tank. Now, another pro is the filter. The filter, I had no issues with it. It was super quiet. I love the spray bar feature. It's like a pretty little waterfall trickling into the aquarium. As I mentioned, it's very quiet. There's no disruption at all. And the best part is, is that it can be concealed right behind that 3D background. So you barely even see the filter. You only see the pretty little spray bar, which is really, really a win for me, to be honest. Another pro of this aquarium is the light adjustability. Now this aquarium light has a couple different modes. As we saw earlier, you can adjust the brightness, you can also adjust the timer, and you can adjust the actual color temperature of the light, which is really, really cool. A lot of these budget aquariums don't really have adjustable lights, but not only is this light full spectrum, it is also customizable for your viewing pleasure, which is, of course, another pro in my book. Now, of course, everything is not sunshine and rainbows, so we do need to talk about the cons of this aquarium. The first thing I experienced wasn't really that bad. I just noticed a little bit of build quality issues here and there. Really nothing major. There was no cracks, there was no leaks. However, some of the silicone spots were a little bit messy and the built-in foam support piece in the bottom of the tank uh, was a little rough on mine. There was some uncut edges and some little white spots. Really not that big of a deal, but it is definitely something I wanna point out. Another thing that's actually a pretty big con to me has to do with the light and the light timer. Now, the light timer is great and all. It'll work perfect. It'll keep the light on for the set amount of time you have. However, instead of turning completely off after the time allotted, so say you set it to stay on for six hours, after six hours, it doesn't turn off. It just dims. So the light stays on all night, and then we'll go ahead and get fully bright you know, the next day, back into the six hour time slot. However, in my opinion, a light timer needs to turn off the light. There's no reason for an aquarium light to be on when you are not looking at it. So if you have your aquarium light turn off at night and everyone's asleep and no one's there to look at the aquarium, that's just causing unnecessary algae growth. So there's actually no way to turn off the light automatically. You have to turn it on and off manually if you want the light to turn completely off, which is super annoying in my opinion. Now, personally, I do see some advantages to leaving the aquarium light on, even on its dimmest setting all night. It serves as a great night light, for example. However, for me personally, I don't want it, I don't need it, and I really wish there was an option to have the light completely turn off automatically without having to manually do it every time. And the last con I wanna talk about today, which really isn't a con, it's just an accessory I wish was included, is a lid. Now, because this aquarium is all open top, you do have to not only monitor the water level because water can evaporate very, very fast without an aquarium lid, but if you have fish that like to jump, such as betta fish, uh, you really have to keep an eye on them because you don't want your fish flying out of the tank, which I've had happen to me in the past. Now, I don't have any fish in this tank quite yet, so I can't exactly speak on if fish are gonna jump out or not. 
However, I've had fish like platies and guppies jump out of tanks when they didn't have lids. So while this may or may not be an issue for you, I do really wish a glass lid was at least an option or at least included, just in case you did find potential issues with fish jumping out of the tank, there would be an easy solution. But overall for the money, I think the tank's pretty cool. You get the included filter, you get the included light, and that 3D background is really, really dope. I actually haven't seen a small like desktop aquarium that includes a background like that. So that was actually a huge selling point for me on this Hyger Aquarium. Now, if you wanna get one for yourself, not only is there a link down below, but there is a promo code. You can go ahead and enter that on Amazon and it will save you what I believe is 5% off of the total price of this aquarium, which really isn't that bad when you think about it. If you guys have any questions or comments about this tank, do not forget to leave those down below. However, more importantly, what fish should we put in this tank? I was thinking maybe guppies, maybe platies, some quarries, I don't know quite yet. So if you guys have any fun stocking ideas for this eight gallon aquarium, leave them right in the comments down below and I will catch you guys in the next video. Once again, thank you so much for watching and good bye.